you'll see from the comments under this video that a lot of people can't believe this, but this is true. I know it's true. Um, many years ago, I was uh, unemployed, effectively, but I used that time to work as a, a, an outreach worker, if you like, an evangelist. And uh, God really blessed that time. It was an amazing, amazing time. Saw so a lot of miracles. Here's a miracle which many of you will find very difficult to believe. I still find it very difficult to believe as well, but I know it definitely happened. <coughs> and um, one day, a friend uh, needed a lift somewhere, and uh, I offered to, to give them this lift, and it was much further away than I thought it was. And at that time, I was relying on unemployment benefit, um, and I had a family with uh, two young children dependent on me. And I had my unemployment benefit, or what was left of it for the week. Off we went. The first thing that happened was I needed to put fuel in the car. And so I did that, and that ate into quite a lot of the money. Now, when we set off, we had uh, £35 uh, plus some change, and that was a £5 note, a £10 note, a £20 note, and some change, and quite a lot of change at that. The £5 note was really scruffy, really, really scruffy and worn out and crumpled up. The uh, £10 note had been kind of rolled up quite tight and then folded really, really sharply so that when it was opened up it was folded over and over again, very, very distinct. And the £20 note was really crisp and brand new and that had been folded in four. And this was how these notes had come to me from wherever they come from, change in the shops or whatever it may be. So anyway, we set off, we filled the car with fuel, and we then had to pay a, a toll on a bridge, and uh, we paid for parking during the day, and we bought some clothes for the children, and then we came back again, and uh, I can't remember if we paid the bridge toll again, or if it's free on the way back, I forget. And um, of course we had to buy food during the day and things like that. When we got back, we had a little bit of change left and my wife and children went to bed I was left on my own and I put the change on the dining room table and I looked at it and thought my goodness there isn't much left and that had to see us through another week or two uh, at the time and I knew it was nowhere near enough I mean it wasn't enough to see us probably through the next day even hardly any change at all all the paper money had gone and uh, a bit of a, a freaky kind of moment so anyway, I just looked at that and I just, I guess I just prayed about it. I'm not sure exactly what I said, but you know, I just committed that whole situation into God's hands and I went to bed. When we came down in the morning, on the dining room table, there was a crumpled up and very, very scruffy, well worn out five pound note. There was a 10 pound note as well, which had been folded over and over as though somebody had rolled it up and then folded it really sharply so that when it unrolled it was it was all uh, you know lines all the way across it and there was a brand new 20 pound crisp clean note which had been folded in four there was also a huge pile of change a lot of change at least as much change as there had been when we set out the day before so at the end of the day somebody had replaced every single penny of the money that we had spent the day before on just simply doing a good deed and uh, nobody else had access to the house and uh, nobody else in the house had money nobody else lived in the house just myself my wife my two young children and we certainly had no money apart from what was coming in from the social so um, this was without a doubt a miracle and I can tell you loads and loads of miracles uh, like that now a lot of people are not going to like that and a lot of people are going to find that impossible to believe, let alone difficult, because I mean, materialists can only grasp what is material at the end of the day, and money appearing out of nowhere. I've driven the car on no fuel before, and uh, all sorts of things like that. Miracles of God. Jesus said that if you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, all the material things that the pagans run after, he said you don't need to run after them at all. He said all these things will be given to you as well by your Father in heaven, and I praise him and I worship him. Thanks for listening.